Hey, what's up mga kachilaks? Nandito na naman ako si Sir Ivan. Ngayong araw na to, pag-uusapan natin is, ano nga ba ang work? Kung ready ka na, tara, samaan nyo ako. Let's go! Woo! Bago ang lahat, ano nga ba ang ibig sabihin ng work? Ito ba yung trabaho? Wag, 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 Yung ba yun? Hindi ko alam! Ito ba yung may sweldo? Kung yun ang sagot mo, hindi yun yung work na tinutukoy ko. Ang tinutukoy kong work, yung work na related sa physics. By the way guys, ito nga pala yung definition ng work na tinutukoy ko. By the way, ang general formula pala ng work is work is equals to force times displacement. Paano naman pag may angle yung problem? Kung may angle naman, ang magiging formula mo dun is work is equals to force times displacement cos and the value of the angle. Ngayong alam na natin kung anong ibig sabihin ng work at ang mga formulas related dito, alamin naman natin kung ano yung mga uri ng work. Tayong tatlong uri ng work Ito ang positive, negative At zero work Sinabi natin positive work If the force and the displacement Travels in the same direction Then it is called positive work Sinabi natin negative work Kabalik na lang siya ng positive work Pag ang force ay going to this direction Dapat ang displacement ay going to this direction Para masabi natin negative work Pag sinabi natin zero work The force and the displacement Should be perpendicular to each other hmm. Paano nga yun? Sa pagdala natin ng backpack natin We know that we are doing the work Pero yung work na ginagawa natin Is effortless Katulad ng body ko at the same time, the force and the displacement are perpendicular to each other. So, yan yung example lang, zero work. The way guys, nakalimutan ko, meron pala tayong dalawang pang uri ng work. Ito yung horizontal at vertical work. Pag sinabi natin vertical work, ginawa mo yung work vertically. Pero pag sinabi naman natin horizontal work, can you guess? Tama ka doon, ginawa mo ng horizontally yung work. Ito nga pala yung formulas for vertical at horizontal work. Ngayong marami na tayong alam about so work, try naman natin mag-solve ng problems related dito. Oh my goodness! Problems? Oh my! We know about the work, man. We know the tasks. We know the formulas. Now, we need to apply. So chill, man. So chill. Chill, chill, chill. Chill. This is easy, man. This is easy. So chill. <laughs> Napalaban ako ng Englishan doon, mga kachilaks. <laughs> Buti na lang, may mga baon ako. <laughs> This is problem number one. So let's go. Simula. Alamin muna natin kung ano ang gresa dito sa situation na to. Kung alam mo na ang gresa, bibigyan kita ng 10 segundo para masolve tong problem na to. Hep, 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 hep. Time's up. Ngayon naman, check natin kung tamang pinagsasagot natin. Gresa, given Displacement is equals to 0.7 meters. Force is equals to 850 newtons. Cost 30 degrees. Required work is missing. Right, work, 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 work. Equation is equals to work is equals to force times displacement. Cost. Solution 850 times 0.7 meters. Cost 30. And the answer is 
515.21 joules. Kung nasagutan mo ng tama yung una, <laughs> basic na lang itong susunod sa'yo. Example number two. It's time to check now. Gresa. Force is equals to 215 newtons. Displacement is equals to 4 meters. Required work is missing. Equation is work is equals to force times displacement. Solution, 215 newtons times 4 meters. The answer is 860 joules. By the way guys, yung unang dalong problems ko na pinakita kanina are examples of horizontal work. Ngayon naman, papakita ko kayo ng example ng vertical work. Vertical work, let's go! It's time to check our answer. Gresa. Mass is equals to 15 kilograms. Displacement is equals to 5 meters. Gravity, 9.8 meters per second squared. Required, work is still missing. Equation, work is equals to mass times gravity times displacement. Solution, 15 times 9.8 times 5. And the answer is 735 Jews. Alright! Kung nakuha mo na yung problems kanina, magaling ka na. Pero pag hindi mo pa nakuha, <laughs> Replay mo pa! Transform! Hey, what's up? Tapos na yung video. By the way, yung video na yun has something to do with the topic work. Daan Ang topic na work ay napakalawak na topic. Kaya kailangan mo mag-aral at mag-research pa upang gumaling. At kung nagusto mo tong video na to, bisitahin mo naman yung channel ko. Ang channel ko ay mayroong masasaya, makukulit, mga lessons, at lahat ng mga pampagod vibes. So, bisitahin mo na. Tingin ko, magugusto mo yung channel ko. At kung nagusto mo tong video na to, please like it. Comment ka naman oh, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button below para updated ka sa mga videos ko pa. Share mo na rin. So hanggang dito na lang, peace. Tayong tatlo. What's all about, man? It's easy. Chill, 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 man. Ngayon marami na tayong alam about so work. Ngayon alam na natin ang marami, marami. Ngayon ang marami, marami na tayong alam. Ngayon alam na. alam na natin kung anong ibig sabihin ng work at ang mm, formula. Ngayong alam na natin kung anong ibig sabihin ng work at ang mga formulas katulad ng mm. Ngayong alam na natin kung ano yung mga mm. In short, ay This is problem number one. So let's go. Oh, the mild stroke. It's the number one, guys. It's the